Kane Vision welcomes in Steve Gully, the cross country coach at the University of Tulsa. And coach, congratulations. You've won the first American title this calendar year, this uh, school year for the University of Tulsa. Great job by the guys. Uh, thank you. I, I think they, uh, they went out there and did a great job. And, and I think the girls, and, and I don't like the runner up position, but they did the best job they could do in SMU. It's just a little bit better on the girls' side. And on the men's side, you were the favorite, but you still got to go out and run, right? Absolutely. And, I, and I, I, I don't think a lot of credit sometimes is given, but I think after two miles, it was, it was like we had 30 points and maybe Connecticut was in there at 50. I, I, I didn't quite go through it all, but they told me that. But in the end, we, we, we did. We, we ran better in the heat. So I think the last mile, we actually picked up some points. We ended up with 22 and actually Connecticut went the other direction and some other teams came up. But I think the heat played a factor in that race because I think if it wasn't as hot, maybe the, some of the orders would have been a little bit different. But I was actually proud of our guys. They handled it well. And I don't know if it's just from the experience of running a lot of hot meets this season, but I was very proud of them. And who performed well for you? I guess anybody <laughs> that scored points for you really did. Huh? Absolutely. Luke Trainer did a great job. Uh, I'm, I'm Ben Prizer was second. So I think we had a great job. But, and you know, one of the un, unheard heroes we thought was Dallas Elmore. Dallas is a fourth year senior, has never got to run at the conference championship, and he finished 10th. And, and that, that meant a lot to us. And, and, and I think that's sometimes what people don't realize that you have other guys that can step up for you. It, it means a lot to the team. And to win a championship anytime, you know, you have to have depth. And that, you're more concerned a lot of times, not with number one and two, because you know they'll run well, but what's your four and five going to do, right? Absolutely. I, I think that takes a little pressure off everybody else. So, yes, it is a team effort. I was very proud. I think we actually had all seven in the top 15. So, yes, am I proud? I'm extremely proud. I think they did a good job. And sometimes it, it's maybe not, it is hard to get up. And even though you feel maybe we're maybe a little bit ahead, you just still got to work and you got to go in there and take care of your business. And it's not as easy as everybody thinks it is. And on the ladies side, I know you're proud of them as well. You mentioned before we started this taping that uh, all five came in in the top 12. And so you're kind of wondering how, how do you not win? The thing is SMU got all of their people uh, bunched Absolutely. up there too, right? You get five girls in the top 12, how do you lose it? I think they got some low points and they covered us right behind it. But you got to consider that SMU beat us by 214 points two weeks before and we closed it down to two in two weeks. I'm proud of the girls. They, they laid it out there on the line. SMU is just better on that day. Well, and they uh, convert and end up winning the uh, championship. But congratulations to the guys. Uh, but season's not over now. You no. get ready for the regionals, and uh, you know you get kind of almost a two-week uh, break before right. you go to the regionals in Iowa City, Iowa, right? Yeah, and it, it's, it's still stressful. This is what they've been aiming for. They want to go to get the ticket to go to the NCAA championship. Uh, I think we got to go in and run our, our best races. Both teams have an opportunity. Both teams went last year. I hope that experience pays off. But you know you got to keep everybody healthy in the next two weeks and still keep moving forward. You can't rest on what's happened up to now. You got to still move forward. And of course, before we close it out, the American Athletic Conference uh, they they didn't do the awards for the like runners of the year and that sort of thing, but they did do staff of the year. You guys won staff of the year again. Yes, very fortunate. My staff did a great job. I'm very proud of them. Uh, James Wilson and actually Taylor Gully. So uh, they did a great job, and I'm very proud of them. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. Steve Gully, the coach of the American Athletic Conference champion men's cross-country team, second place for the ladies as well. And that's our report.